Hey there, researchers and students. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a crucial part of a research paper that's often overlooked, the appendix. So let's dive in and explore what an appendix is and why it's important. First off, what exactly is an appendix? An appendix is a section at the end of your research paper where you include extra information that supports your research. It's not the main part, but it's important for adding more depth to your work. What information goes in the appendix? Now you might be wondering, what kind of information goes into the appendix? Well, here are some common examples. Surveys and questionnaires. The full versions of the questionnaires or surveys you use to gather data for your research. Interviews. If you conducted interviews, you can include the full transcripts or recordings to add transparency to your methods. Raw data. This is where you can include large data sets or figures that would be too detailed for the main body of your paper, but still support your findings. Figures and tables. Any additional graphs, charts, or tables that help to enhance the reader's understanding of your research. Why should you include an appendix? Including an appendix serves several purposes. Clarity. It keeps your main text nice and clean, focusing on the key points, while the detailed info is available if anyone wants to dive deeper. Comprehensiveness. It allows you to present all the information that might be relevant to your research without overwhelming the reader with too many details in the body of the paper. Transparency. It's your way of showing your work. Including an appendix helps your readers understand your research process better and see where all the information is coming from. When it comes to formatting your appendix, here are some guidelines to follow. Placement. The appendix should be placed at the very end of your paper, right after your references. Labeling. Each appendix needs to be clearly labeled with a title and either numbered or lettered, like Appendix A, Appendix B, etc. New page. Start each new appendix on a fresh page for clarity. Table of contents. Don't forget to include your appendices in your table of contents. This helps readers easily navigate to the extra information they might need. Before we wrap up, here are some final tips on using appendices effectively. Relevance is key. Only include information that truly supports your research. Don't add anything that doesn't add value. Don't overdo it. You should only include information that is directly relevant and helpful to the main content. Avoid overloading it with unnecessary details or irrelevant material. Make references. Always refer to your appendix in the main text when appropriate. This will guide your readers to the detailed info when they need it. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.